Is this gonna take? You know, it's okay. We can have them kind of spice them. Yeah, exactly. one one all right, you want some hemming and hawing to use as B-roll? That's all good. Uh, yes. How did the concept for Infamous get started? How did you guys even start on this path? Well, we uh, we were rolling off Sly Three in 2006, and you know we knew we wanted to work in with Sony. We love working with Sony, so we uh, basically split into small groups, and we each came up with a little pitch document. Here's a game we could build next, and this is the one that ended up turning into Infamous. We originally called it True Hero. Things changed a lot, you know, over the course of infamous development. But a lot of the stuff that we wanted to do at the beginning, you know, we ended up keeping. You know, that you're a, that you're a hero, that you're protecting a city, your powers develop over the course of the game. All that was there in the beginning. You just kind of have to know how to look for it. I got a regular slave. Ready? No. Yeah. The infamous series really is the story of Cole McGrath, and in Infamous One, he sort of begins his adventure as a bike courier, kind of an invisible person in Empire City, and he delivers a package that changes his life. It's some kind of a bomb, it's not really clear what it is, creates a great explosion in the city and kills a whole bunch of people. No! No! In the middle of it all, he's left alive, but his body's been changed and he's been given these crazy electrical superpowers. So all throughout Infamous One, he was trying to understand why he'd been selected for this, what's happening to his, his body and the city around him. And he learns at the end of it that it was all to prepare him for the, this coming monster, this, this horrible, horrible beast that is capable of destroying civilizations. And he was told that he's the only one who can defeat it. So we start Infamous Two with that beast arriving and him trying to fight it and failing and then the game is all about gearing up for round two. This story finds us moving from Empire City down into the southeast of the United States and in a fictional city called New Marais. There he's gonna try and locate the source of the technology that built the device that exploded in Empire City in the first game and see if that can be used in some way to help enhance the abilities he has. Cole, as he goes through New Marais, is finding these things called blast cores. As he uses those, he gains more powers on his own. Pulse a current through it, and its energy will release into the nearest conduit. Whoa, so this is gonna make me stronger. The militia are called the protectors of New Marais, but really they're, they're kind of their own thing. Bertrand is the leader of the militia, and he wants everyone to think he's on their side, that he's helping them, but it's not clear if the solution is better than the problem in this case. Up there, freaks! <laughs> In the first game, we wanted to give you that sense of personally going through an origin story. And in this game, we're kind of having you go through the experience of owning the mantle of being a superhero, choosing it versus having to be thrust upon you. I think all of it's Sucker Punch are gamers, and we want to make a really cool game because we love gaming, and nobody here is going to not play the game. It's a product of a lot of people's hard work and creativity, and they're, they're using their creativity to make things that they like and care about.